also aid us in getting a consistent flow of ink out of the ink fountain. Ink is stixotropic, or a paste in consistency. As it's rotated by the ink fountain roller in the fountain, it tends to back away from the ink fountain blade. With the agitator rotating back and forth, it stops this ink balling action and forces the ink on between the ink fountain blade and the ink fountain roller. The result is a more precise, consistent feed of ink out of the ink fountain when you're utilizing an ink agitator. A wise press operator who's trying to precisely control the color of a job during the length of the run will try to keep the ink fountain at least half filled at all times during the run to keep the proper amount of weight on the ink fountain blade to get a good feed of ink, a good positive flow of ink out of that ink fountain. Once the ink leaves the ink fountain, it travels to the plate over a series of hard and soft rollers, which also condition the ink into a thin film across and around the width of the rollers. The ductor roller is the rubber roller that is designed to carry a metered amount of ink from the fountain roller to the roller train. It alternately contacts the ink fountain roller and the first train roller. On fountain rollers that turn continuously, the press operator controls the speed of the turning fountain roller to increase or decrease the amount of ink that is fed through the system. The faster the pan roller turns, the more area of the ductor roller is covered with ink. The hard oscillating rollers are gear driven and indirectly power all other rollers by surface contact. Their primary function is to extend the travel of the ink film and condition the ink for the plate. The surface speed of the oscillating rollers is the same as that of the plate when it is packed to manufacture specifications. Oscillating rollers oscillate or change lateral direction side to side in short strokes, at least once for every revolution of the plate cylinder. This back and forth side to side rotation helps control inking by smoothing out the ink film which in turn reduces ink banding and mechanical ghosting. A good technique to aid us in adjusting the oscillation in evening out the transfer of ink across the cylinder and around the cylinder is using the dry solid technique. By divorcing the dampening system and printing a dry solid, we could take readings, uh, three readings maybe uh, on the gear side in the center and on the operator side in the sheet and try to get the overall average of the reading with a densitometer to be as close as possible. By adjusting or changing the sweep or the transfer of our oscillators, the points that they reverse themselves, we can even out this ink flow across the sheet. Inking system design varies among manufacturers depending on the size of the press, the manufacturer's preference, and the substrate to be printed on. This particular ink system configuration uses a large central oscillator to carry the entire flow of ink. The ink film is split roughly 50-50 at the roller nips, so the heaviest ink flow is always on the shortest path over the rollers. And although it uses both hard and rubber rollers, Hard rollers are never permitted to touch or ride against another hard roller. A rubber roller is always used between two hard rollers. Also note that most systems use four form rollers of various diameters at the plate. The two inside rollers are usually a smaller diameter, while the outside rollers are usually larger and have different diameters. This configuration is designed to reduce mechanical ghosting on the plate. Whenever we have ghosting, it could be related to the layout of the job. For example, when we do layouts, we should try to lay out the solids on the sheet towards the gripper edge because we have the most inking power on the gripper edge of the sheet. Any light coverage work should be across the tail edge of the sheet. Also, the way our form rollers are set are very important. If our form rollers do not have enough contact pressure against the oscillator, we cannot erase images that we pick up from the plate that we're printing. So we tend to repeat these ghosts as we go through the gap of the plate cylinder. 
Also, there's an option of using oscillating form rowers. These are specially designed form rowers that when we have a ghosting problem, we can engage them and the form rower will oscillate to break up the ghosting pattern that we're generating in our print. The thickness of the ink film that is carried through the ink system is an important consideration when printing. If we run too light of an ink film thickness, if we're below two tenths of a mil, it'll be almost impossible for a press operator to control ink water balance. The press will always be surging from wet to dry. Also, at low ink film thicknesses, we'll have more trouble with picking and powing type problems because the lower the ink film thickness, always remember the more force there is on the sheet of paper. On the other side of the coin, when we run too high of an ink film thickness, we can only put so much ink on top of a halftone dot. When we go above four tenths of a mil, we overflow that ink on 